Yes, you can get your children listening this week with these three proven techniques. I call it the use process. The use process is the same process that 477 of our clients, all parents of children, have used to get their children to listen without having to yell, without having to repeat themselves, without having to bribe them with, with treats or without having to give them warnings about getting some kind of consequence or no more iPad. Once you know these three skills, you will start, start gaining cooperation a lot easier. It's going to be better for you, better for your kids, because it's going to be done in a peaceful way. Hello, my name is Marcela Collier. I'm a certified parenting coach. I'm founder of HIC Parenting Education Agency. My team of coaches and I are committed to help you gain all the tools so you can break free from reactivity, bring peace to your parenting, and raise emotionally healthy children. If you want that result, this is the channel for you. What are you waiting for? It is free. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, to our YouTube channel, and let's talk about this. The three proven techniques to getting your children to listen to you the first time without having to yell, without having to warn them with consequences, without having to bribe. Is, is this like too good to be true? I've lived it myself with my kids. And my kids, one of them is neurodivergent. I'm a neurodivergent parent as well. And I've seen it working time to time again with our clients in HIC parenting. Okay, so this is what most parents do. Hey, I need to uh, go pick up, they give the, ch the children instruction. Go pick up the, the toys or go take the trash out. And then the child is in dreamland or they are very hyper-focused on the next world in the, uh, on the Nintendo or they, they're just in a different um, intent. So what happens? The parent repeats it and the parent repeats it and the parent repeats it and then the child starts kind of getting annoyed. So when a child gets annoyed, then th 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 it won't happen. So this is the first thing that we teach in HIC parenting. You, understanding the need, understanding the need. So need, when we understand the need beneath our children are listening, we know what to tackle first. So if we know that our children is not responsive because they are hyper-focused in their Nintendo Switch, that's the case of, uh, of my neurodivergent son. He gets lost in the world of Nintendo sometimes. He loses, he loses track of time because that's his personal topic of his topic. His personal topic of interest. Is that the word? Le gusta mucho eso. So if I go and then I tell him across the room, hey, it's time to take the trash out. I mean, that's not his chore right now. His chore is folding the clothes. Okay, Santiago, it's time to fold your clothes. He's so in his world that he's not going to listen to me. And if I repeat it and he actually listens, he's going to feel it as nagging. So when we understand the need, we can tackle it different. I know I have to get his attention first, disrupt the pattern in order for him to listen to me. The S is settle children down from their stress response. Settle children down from the stress response. So I'm going to write here. I think I'm writing the end backwards. Setting children down from their stress response. Why? But I go to them and they still don't listen to me. And we get into a far struggle. Nine times out of 10, it's because our children are already hyper vigilant, waiting for us to, to yell. We're already hyper vigilant, rushed, yelling, annoyed, and they pick up on that. So if we are up, there is no way that they're going to respond to us down. The first thing that I do before I give my children instruction is check in with my nervous system. 
Am I regulated enough right now? If not, before I waste time instructing them to do something, when I'm triggered and dysregulated, I'm going to take three minutes to regulate myself so all the words that I tell them land differently. They pick up on our energy and they know if we're annoyed, if we're frustrated, if we're rushed, and they fear up on that. So settling down from our stress response is crucial. And settling down our children from their stress response is crucial. Redirect a child. Don't instruct a child to do anything when they are upset because you're going to go anywhere with that. We're not, you're not going to get anywhere. Nervous system science one-on-one. And I didn't know that. Before I was a parenting coach 12 years ago, I didn't know none of this. So I made all the mistakes. If I'm talking about this, it's because I lived it myself. So you don't have to go through it. So you don't have to keep spinning in the same frustration cycle that I was spinning every single day in my life 12 years ago. And then the last technique to get kids to listen the first time without having to bribe, without having to yell, without having to warn consequences is educate them on better ways of expressing their needs and feelings. So I'm going to draw here a new heart because sometimes they don't listen because they're, they're dealing with something that we don't know yet. And it isn't until we know that we can help them. It isn't until we know that we can help them. I saw on the parking lot something, a beautiful way of a parent applying this skill. So it was a pickup line. I saw a parent, she had like an eight-year-old and a kindergartner, you know, like five and eight. And then... The eight-year-old went to the car, and then he started kind of, he started, what was he doing? He he tried to open the car, and then he started getting really agitated. And now he was, like, taking his body against the car. And then the mom, she slowed down. She went to her, his eye level, and then she said, what's going on? What do you need? What do you feel? Are you feeling frustrated that the door is not opening? Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. So say, I'm frustrated. Ask for help. Instead of throwing your body against the car, that's going to put a dent on the car and it's going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt yourself. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. So if you want to gain your children's cooperation, unveil the need, understand the need, Settle down the stress response and educate them on a better way to express their needs and feelings. Marcela, but I try to not yell. It's just so hard. I know. I know it is hard and it is possible. I have a completely free class for you to help you break, break free from that reactivity. I show you the skills the method that I applied with myself and that I teach my clients in HIC parenting to break free from reactivity and raise emotionally healthy children. To access this class, all you have to do is go to the description of this, of this YouTube channel or go to hicparenting.com and the link is there. Remember, it only takes understanding of yourself and of your children to transform your parenting. Give me a thumbs up if this video helped you, and I'll see you next time.